Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic in the Oracle database. We called it as a recycle bin. So recycle bin is the terminology that you might have heard when you are you're working with the Windows platform. Maybe you are using the Windows 10 machine or Windows 7 machine. So what is the importance of Windows? Uh, what is the importance of this recycle bin? Let's try to understand. Let's say you have one file or folder on your desktop and you want to drop that. You want to delete that file. When you are dropping it, just right click and delete it. It will go to the recycle bin and then you are realizing, oh, you made some mistake. You want to recover that. So what you will do, you will go to the recycle bin and from there you can restore that files or folder. Same thing is happening in the Oracle database also. When you have a table and something happened, you are not in good mood, you drop the table, something happened. So then you realize like, oh my God, you have made some mistake and you want to recover that table. How you will do that? If you are lucky enough that you have a recycle bin enabled on that database, you can go to the recycle bin and from the recycle bin, you can recover your database, recover your table basically. It is possible when you have a recycle bin options. So by using the recycle bin option, you don't need to worry about the backup, whether you have backup, you don't need to worry about the restoration process, which is a time consuming. Just straight away go to the recycle bin and then recover your table, whichever you have dropped without any intention. So that is the importance of recycle bin. Let's say you want to free some of the space from the Oracle database. So what you will do, you will identify the tables that you want to drop it. Then you will drop those table. And after dropping the table, still you will find that the free space is not getting increased. It is of same size only. Why it is happening? Let's try to understand. See, when you drop the table internally, the table will be the part of same table space only. It will not move anywhere. Okay. Internally, it will just rename that table with some different name and you feel like, okay, you have dropped the table. Now, why the size is not getting increased? Free size is not getting increased because those table will be the part of your recycle bin. So whenever you want to drop a table to free up the spaces, what you can do, you can check the recycle bin and also you can then delete those table from the recycle bin. If the, it will, you know, automatically increase your free spaces. Now, let's say you have a recycle bin enabled and still uh, you want to drop the table, what you will do? You can drop the table along with the purge option. By using this purge option, that table will not go into the recycle bin and it will get deleted straight away, which will free up your spaces. So the intention that I want to tell you here that if you want to drop something, okay, which you are confident, drop with the purge option, which will free up your spaces. Now we will be discussing about the naming convention in recycle bin. Let's say you have one table called test table and you drop that table. If you go to the recycle bin, you'll try to find out that table with the name test table. It will not be there because in recycle bin, the name of the table will get changed. It will be the naming convention in the recycle bin. It will get started with bin dollar. Then there will be some unique ID and then there will be some version. So basically the name of your original table will not be there. So you need to identify which is your table and accordingly you can purge those table from the recycle. bin. When you drop the table along with that table, all the dependent objects, okay, just like your trigger or anything. Okay. All those things will go into the recycle bin, but when the thing is when the objects will go to the recycle bin. The problem is if you have the database which is enabled with the recycle bin, then and only then all these tables, whatever you are dropping it from the database that will go to the recycle bin only when your recycle bin option is enabled. Now let's try to understand how you can enable the recycle bin. Recycle bin enabled or disabled is not online activity. You need to bounce the database. So first bounce the database. Enable the on, enable the uh, your recycle bin or disable it, whatever you wish to do. And then you can see the result over there in the recycle bin itself. 
now one more thing which is the last one but very very important when you want to purge the recycle purging means if you want to drop the recycle bin object you can drop it with the command called purge so purge is a command whenever you want to free up the spaces from the recycle bin and it is a normal activity most uh, most of the dbs are doing maybe on weekly basis or monthly basis so you can use this activity so you can understand very clearly that what is the importance of recycle bin and how it makes our life easier when you have a recycle bin option this option has been started from oracle database tenji and still it is going on with the oracle 21c as well and it will be there definitely in the future so when you are using the production database especially production database where you have a production tables are there which are really really important you can enable this option by taking the approval from your client i hope this video is really really helpful for you if you have any queries something let me know and if you are looking for real time database training definitely you can contact me thank you so much guys bye bye and if you like this video then definitely you need to like it share it and subscribe to my channel.